Good morning. So, we've got a little change of plans. We are going to do uh, things a little different. We had an 1800 mile trip scheduled today, and I was going to show you up to four hours of fuel burn on a Phenom at a moderate speed. We added the leg in there, so, so we're going to do a couple of 1000 and 1100 mile legs. And the fuel burn will be a little higher because we're going to stay a little lower at 41 and try to go a little and go as fast as the plane will go because we're pushing up on our eight hour limit of fuel, or excuse me, eight hour limit of duty. So, because when we fly, we try to fly the same hours and duty limits of airlines, an on-demand air charter 135, even though we're privately owned. That's eight hours of flying a day, 14 hours of duty. We're well under the 14 hours of duty, which is about, scheduled about 12 and a half, but we're right at eight hours of flying. Now we go over a few minutes, tomorrow's fine, I'm off, got extended rest scheduled. So, but we're gonna try to keep it as close to eight hours as we can. And we, we should be able to do it, maybe eight hours, 8.1. So that'll work out very well. So come with me and we'll do some fuel burns and get this plane fueled up. Let's go. See if I can do this. So first things first, before the fuel truck got here, I've never done this with one hand. So let's see if I can not spill this. Okay. That is the coffee. It'll be heat the coffee and it'll stay fresh all day. We got a bag of ice we'll put here. So, so now I have the bag of ice in there, scooper. Okay, so the ice is full. We'll close the drain, close the coffee drain. We have a few extra water and sodas in there. Here's our trash can. We have snacks, snacks. When you buy the airplane, this had crystal in it, like glasses. We just keep some napkins, cups with creamers in. We find they work better than this because we use bigger cups. We use these Dixie 12-ounce cups. I think you need about an 8-ounce cup in there. So then up here, we keep some more napkins, some plasticware, silverware. So if you went up here, there is actually a sound system in the airplane. You can play uh, CDs, and it's an XM radio. So for the airplane. There's a speaker in the airplane. In, a, in our company, we don't really use it much. So here we are, round one. And just, we won't show the whole fueling, but battery on, fuel valve's ready. The one thing is this, when this thing comes open, this is the other way you can use the fuel. When it comes on, it defaults to full. So if you want to top the airplane off, which we don't do very much, or you just want to tell the line guys 150 gallons, that's all you gotta do. If you want to set the fuel, now you can set it, but we're going to top it off, so here we are. Here we are, ready for our first day. We put a little extra fuel on, so the next stop, we can put on less fuel. There he is, taking the hose off. It was a hectic morning, but as you can see, we're climbing fairly slow. We got the climb rate slow because we want, we're trying to get speed. As you can see down here, we're, uh, we're getting a true speed of 400 knots. Ground speed of 520 because the, we're just getting a great tailwind. So we got the plane slope up on the 38.6. This always hurts climbing a lot is the, the icing plus 6. It, it was about plus 12, but now it's coming down a little. That's always good. And as you can see, we did top the plane off. Come to fuel. We burnt so far 760 pounds. And we've been flying for. 20 minutes. So we're trying 20 minutes. We actually burned 125 pounds getting to the runway. So we really only burned about 650 pounds getting to this point. We'll level off at 41 and we'll see how we do. But we did have a lot of changes this morning. We were trying to do the short trip, now we're doing the long trip. So it's good that we top it off so we didn't have to fuel it again. I'll get the one hour and we'll see what, I, what it does at one hour at 41,000. Quick video here. We're leveled off up to speed. We're doing a little over Mach 7.6. So we're getting 440 knots to shoot, almost 550 knots over the ground. So we're doing over 600 on the ground. We're not fuel critical at all. Even though we're going 1,800 miles, we're going to have over 1,200 pounds of fuel when we land. We've been in the air for 27 minutes. And we've turned 900 pounds. And again, 120 that was on the ground before taking off. So you can see it's showing us 1,170. Actually, I bet we land with about 1,400. The 
Okay, we've been flying for an hour and 40 minutes. We're over Texas. At the two hour mark, we'll stay at 410 at the two hour mark, and then we'll uh, go up to 450 just to save a little bit of fuel, and uh, the winds aren't going to change much once we get a little farther. So, but what I'll do is I'll stay here to the two hour mark because this will be as much fuel as really you can burn in cruise. Because like I said, we're going Mach 76 plus at 410. So this is about as much fuel as you'll burn in a Phenom in the first two hours. Okay, I'm just taking a pause here because uh, the center has to climb up to 430, which is the wrong way he's found. But I want to show you that we are, can still do 76 plus up here at 430. Um, Uber comes down quite a bit, 478. We're going to momentarily just level air, just let everything stabilize like it is, and then we're going to go to 450. We're going to request 450. Well, I, I have to keep pulling the power out because it keeps wanting to go up to about 77, so we're, we're trying to keep it close to that 76 range. Um, the, the winds are falling off a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's here at 43, and that, and you can see the fuel burns down under 470. So we're, we're down in the, we're down in the thousand. 25 or so pounds an hour, so we'll give up 450 and see what it does. Hey, just a quick showing on the uh, crossfeed. We're going to take this, turn it to low, and we'll see what happens here. So I'll turn that over. You'll see the valve turn. Right side pumps will come on. And it's even flash and feel equal. We've only got about a 60 pound split, which is not much at all. That's how you cross feed if you want to get those totally even on the field. Well, we're in West Palm Beach. Not to be confused with Palm Springs. Palm Beach, Florida. We'll get some fuel, and we'll be on our way. More fueling. Oh, I can't see it with the sun, it's so bright here. Let's see, we're just getting started. Here's a video of the second leg. We're at 43. We have four or five zero requests. We're just not able to get there yet. So we're still going real fast. Right up. And the climb for this one was not near as well. We leveled off three times. So, like I said, we just aren't going to burn over more than 1450 an hour in the first hour. Easy to turn is less than 1400. Well, this flight still is not really that good because we're, uh, our speed's not really good. It's been a slow grind all up. Still showing a little over an hour. And there's the sunset. So, that's what we're dealing with. Now that we're off, we actually get to see the sun actually set for the horizon. comment I said it's not all fun and games an airplane having someone else pull the pull the toilet lever but actually today we're in our own hangar I did it so and since we're out at home our home base the FBO here has blue solution in their in their toilet or in their lab service kit so we will not we'll just drain it and I'm gonna pour a gallon and a half of water in the toilet 
then put the solution in. And for all of you that were watching this video today, um, you could probably, if you didn't figure it out, everything changed multiple times. We were supposed to originally have a real long flight, 17, 1800 miles. It canceled. They were gonna, we were gonna do make a triangle and drop someone off. That canceled right before we were supposed to leave, so I had to go file a different flight plan to the original plan, but I had topped the airplane off or close to topping it off. So I had plenty of fuel, plenty of tailwind, and we, we flew really a little faster and lower than we'd normally do on that longer trip because we had a dog on board, two women. Um, we, we didn't want any accidents or anything, so we just went as fast as we could go because we wanted to cut as many minutes out. It didn't help too much because we ended up flying into West Palm, what, West Palm Beach, yeah, West Palm Beach, Florida. And right as we got to the west coast of Florida, we started doing a zigzag and slowing down, and we do speed, 180. Well, I guess um, there was a VIP leaving, so they shut the airport, and then by the time we got there, the planes were sacked up. So we saved about 10, 15 minutes flying over there, and we used up about 10 minutes slowing down and zigzagging around from center. So, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you liked the video, please like it. And second of all, if you like this content, um, subscribe. And like I said, I think uh, if I have time, I'm, I'm going to do some firewood tomorrow. I'm going to get straight on my back after being in an airplane about seven and a half hours. Uh, and then there might be another flying one in there because I got to West Palm again from, from Arizona. And that time we'll actually go to 45 and we'll actually use more of an efficient type setting. So you'll be able to see the different hourly fuel burns. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your night.